G'day everyone, this is Daniel O'Grady and thank you very much for joining me for another Wasabi Cars video. Hope you're doing well. And yes, as you can see, I had a bit of fun on the weekend. I went to a place called Autopolis. There was this retro race day going on and it was, uh, it was a fantastic day. And as you can see, these amazing cars are screaming down the straight there. And then I got to see them up close and personal in the paddock area. Some amazing cars. But there was one car in the paddock area that really stood out and it's this 1979 Toyota Corona 1800. And spoiler alert because there is no 1800 under the hood, there is something very very different. Let's check it out right now. BAM! An SR engine. Wow. I did get to speak to the owner but no I don't have any specifics of the engine or the engineering but there looks to have been quite a bit of work put into this car. Of course we've got fuel injection, we've got a fabricated radiator, we've got an oil cooler, we've got adjustable suspension and there's a whole lot more. Now let's just get out of the engine bay for just a sec and check out the bodywork. The panels themselves are straight and clean, it looks amazing. But it's that body kit. Looks to be a one-off, that's just a guess. But uh, super wide over fenders and the front uh, dam is massive. No bumper, it's a tough look. And again, you can see that oil cooler. You know, I'm just blown away by this car. But if I have one complaint, it could be a slight vibration that I'm hearing. Wow, that would drive me nuts. Now let's check out the rear door and yes, finally, you know, so often I see cars with massive rear over fenders and you can't open the back doors, but not this time. Check out the engineering. You know, I've got my concerns about that, but you know, the owner hasn't taken any shortcuts, so uh, I'm going to trust in his handiwork. Okay, I've got some wheel information for you and the wheels are Rega Masters, of course. Were these made from melted down Russian tanks? Is that the story? I don't know. But these are 17 inch and tires are 245 by 40. The interior has been given the treatment. You can see again quite a bit of fabrication has gone on. Check out the transmission tunnel. Yep, something's going on there. Uh, we've got some gauges, we've got a roll cage that's pretty serious. Of course, bucket seats. No carpet, lightweight I guess, but yeah, pretty interesting in there. So my chat with the owner revealed that he drives it about once a month. Good to see he takes care of it. And also the build took four years to do. Now I should shout out to the owner's business. It's Auto Mechanic RPM in Fukuoka City. I'm not familiar with it actually, uh, but hey, they do amazing work by the looks. And uh, he's got his crew there as well, these two 240Zs. Super nice. And speaking of good vibrations, check this out. This is a ticket stub for the Beach Boys when they came to Brisbane in the 80s or 90s. I don't even know. But uh, that was pretty fantastic. So yeah, question of the day is, tell me a concert you went to, some legendary stuff, you know, I don't know, the Eagles, the Beach Boys kiss, something massive, okay? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much, everyone. Take it easy and goodbye. With a little bit of rust and a little bit of dirt on the side of the and a little bit of wasabi.